Hey, friends out there, this is Thursday, November 3rd, 2022. And it's just about till about uh, seven minutes before six in the morning here in Northern California. And as usual, I'll talk about a few things today. I hope everybody's doing as good as they can and enjoying their lives as much as they can in this crazy ass world run by power drunken money loving madmen the inducers of mass misery upon planet earth yeah these are a miserable bunch of people these are the evil men i talk about so frequently but um yeah they uh, they think that they are somehow more endowed they're self endowed gods of the world and they um they think it's their rightful lot to rule over the lives of lesser men in their minds. And uh, they're wrong. They certainly are not more intelligent than uh, noble, moral, ethical human beings. Because they're forgetting that they didn't create themselves. You understand how fundamental that is to understanding truth. Is that if you live your life delusionally, imagining that it's your life and, you know, do what thou wilt, have that attitude. Well, you're ignoring the fact that you didn't create yourself and your parents did very little to create you. They did what came instinctually. They made it. And we know the science, the sperm and the egg and all that. So this is a miracle from God. You know, the man and woman, they're not doing the heavy lifting when it comes to creating that human being when they mate. They're doing very little. All glory must go to the sovereign the only one creator God Almighty. And that is the first step, I believe, to getting it together and saying, wow, you know, people live their lives fearing the laws of man, and I can understand that. I do too, you know. But we forget that ultimately the most important laws we should consider following are the laws granted from above that are bestowed on us, rules for proper living. And it's all very simple. You know, nothing makes sense in this world. Nothing. Because of the madmen that are running the show. Temporarily. But through the mind of God, everything makes sense. It's the only way it does make sense. It's a miracle that everything exists that is obviously by design, obviously. Okay, it's just like a great painter. They need to be acknowledged. God needs to be acknowledged in your life, my life, and everybody's life as the one that owns us, the one that created the painting. The painting did not create itself. I mean, that's what some people that believe in, have faith in, trust in evolution only. That's what they would have you believe, that that painting came to be by happenstance. It was just a quirk, a fluke. Give it enough time, right? That's the whole idea. Billions and billions of years they talk about given enough time that's going to happen i mean that's as absurd as saying i could take a junkyard filled with old rusty cars and parts and stick it in a giant tumbler and spin it around long enough and out comes a shiny new car right it's ridiculous doesn't matter how long you do it the less shiny and new it's going to be we know that so this idea that stuff just happens Without a brain, 
Think about it. Nothing happens. We do not. We have never created a thing. I mean, we go back to what? The wheel? How far back? Can we go back further than the invention of the wheel? But it came to be because God granted us, gave us a brain. Otherwise, I mean, who could function without a brain? Think of how many times you use that thing throughout the day. You know, so I'm just saying, look, above all, we all must honor, recognize, acknowledge the fact that we are owned. It is not our lives for that reason. Yes, we have free will choice, but that doesn't mean it's our lives. It still belongs to the one that owns us first. We can't own anything. Ownership is, in my mind, delusional. So many people think that they own stuff. And I'm thinking to myself, it's all usership. That's all it is. That's the most any of us can do. It's all usership. Let's say I die right now. All my stuff, <laughs> all my possessions, everything I have is left behind. It's still here. I'm gone. I'm out of the picture. I can't enjoy any of my material possessions anymore. Nothing that I own can I have, can I enjoy, can I keep. So therefore, in my mind, it only makes sense to say, yes, it's all about usership. Ownership is to the one that gave us life, that gave us existence, that gave us everything good we've ever experienced. The one that's not to blame for anything bad. That's the creator, God Almighty, whose image and likeness human beings were created in the image of. It makes perfect sense. And it could be duplicated all over the universe, all over our galaxy. There could be similar stories being played out, each one having a different history. But it's this unique cre creature to all the other creatures upon the earth, upon any planet, is the fact that we are made the image and likeness of God. And we have virtually inexhaustible imagination, the power of thought. And anything we can imagine, we can make manifest. It's incredible. I mean, no other creature can come close to that. Not all of them working together can come close to that. I mean, we are literally like little gods. If we're offspring children of God, we are. And that's a big responsibility we all have to being proper children. And we're not doing it. We failed so often. I mean, I think to myself, how, who could say God is happy? You're a believer. Who could say God is happy with the progress, the regress, really, that we've made on planet Earth? My whole life I've watched this place disintegrate, going downhill. But we need to learn... Like King Solomon said, to fear God. I mean, it's not the kind of fear where, oh, I'm afraid. No, it's I fear God. I revere God. And I know I'm going to give account. We all are. We're going to answer for why we believe, why we think the way we do, for our values, for the our convictions, those things we will die for, that we won't relinquish or surrender for anything. And what do we base it on? What do we base our delusional notions of ownership on? I mean, you know, we've got to answer for stuff. Why we didn't share, we don't, why you had to amass multi-millions or multi-billions of dollars. Why, why, why? Well, I uh, had, you know, it was noble intentions. I'm just going to leave it to my children. I'm being benevolent. But only to them. You're not seeing things through God's point of view. We're all equally beloved. The planet belongs to God. Now you take it from there. You put yourself in God's shoes. You see how easy it all becomes? You see, there's no mystery. There's no secret. It's not hidden from us. God wants us to know. He wants us to know and glorify him. Not, a, not being on an ego trip. It's just the right way to think so that we're in our right minds. And we're not all delusional. Thinking that it's our life and we own I mean, that's small minded and short sighted. It's, you know, and where does death fit in in day to day living? When do you think about that? I mean, I think about that. I think, God, that's exhilarating. 
Yeah, it's scary as heck, man. I don't like it at all. I don't like this thing we call death. But we all know it's an integral part of life. It's death. You know, where did it come from? Well, the only answer I have, friends, is in Scripture. You read the beginning of the Bible, you'll understand how our relationship got off to a really bad, funky start in the beginning with God. He was sorry he created us. That's what it says. It says he repented of having created us. He was sorry because of how much we let him down by going astray. That's what we did when we ate from this tree of knowledge of good and evil. The one thing he said, please, just don't do this. I mean, we could have just ignored that. Said, That's, you know, we listened to God. Maybe on other planets they did. They have a completely different history. But I think there's probably very similar flora and fauna on many planets throughout our galaxy and throughout the universe. Obviously, God likes to create. And it all, it's all his, all the real estate. Think about it. People think, oh, I own all this real estate. You don't squat, man. You might be dead today, all that real estate. It's been there since the beginning of time, and it's going to be there forevermore. Okay? That's the way real estate is. And you're going to be long gone. So, it's, see what I mean about delusional? People live their lives, and I think, God, you know, I, I don't want to fit into this scene, man. What does it mean? And the idea of living an extravagant life, I just don't understand people. I really don't. I honestly don't. It seems like the, the less extravagant, the least extravagant life we can live is the most proper in the sight of God. When we've got better men and women than us, Jesus Christ said him himself, the least of men. And if you don't think some poor homeless bastard, okay, in soiled clothing, with his tail between his legs, meandering off under some bridge to sleep for the night, isn't the least among men. I don't know who is. And Christ said, that's him. So better men and women than us, we can know because of what Christ taught, are doing this. We're allowing this. We're tolerating this. We've accepted this as our reality in the 21st century. And we call it progress. And you think if you're God Almighty, you're not ticked off when you know there's a glut of housing all over the world? A glut. Yes, you heard me right. 